The pet set. What do you want to play today, Kit? Let's look in the box. Look! Bowls, cars, springy thingies. Let's play with these. Nah, I'm tired of toys. Well, what else can we play with? How about a pet? We can play with that. Great idea. Let's get a pet. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran off to Pete's Get a Pet store. Hey, Pete. We're here to pick out a pet. Maybe I could interest you in a blobsicle. Mm, too blobby. How's about a prickly porcupine? Too prickly. Well, I've got one fuzzicle left. Too cute. We'll take it. Great. Here's your fuzzicle starter kit. Defuzz brush, fuzz wash, and fuzz chow. Thanks. Come on, Kit. Let's go play with our new fuzzicle. Remember, take good care of it. Kit and Kate could hardly wait to get to Mud Puddle Park and start the fun. Lie down. Roll over. Spin. Hop. Shimmy, shimmy, shake. I didn't say shed. <coughs> you didn't say cough, either. Kate, look. Great idea. You want to brush him? Don't be silly. That's no fun. Fuzzicle, fetch! I didn't know a brush could be a toy. Sure. Almost anything can be a toy. Wow! Look at him go! <laughs> Ew! Our Fuzzicle is so dirty. And smelly. <laughs> has funky fleas. Great idea. You want to wash it? Don't be silly. That's no fun. I'll blow bubbles and the fuzzicle can pop them. Go, fuzzy fuzzicle. Let's go. Kid and Kate were so excited to get ice cream, they ran off, leaving poor Fuzzicle behind. <laughs> leaving poor, coughing, itching, stinky, and hungry Fuzzicle behind. Where's Fuzzicle? Fuzzicle! 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 Oh no! Fuzzicle ran away! Then along came a mysterious stranger. What is wrong, kitties? Our pet Fuzzicle ran away. And playing with him was so much fun. Was your pet having fun too? Sure. I mean, I think so. But it was coughing. And scratching. And stinky. I bet it was hungry too. Doesn't sound like much fun to me. Yeah, I guess not. We were having such a good time that we didn't think about how the Fuzzicle was feeling. Ah. Now I understand. A pet isn't a toy that you can just play with. It's a living thing that you have to take care of. Thanks, Mom! Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. But this time, instead of thinking only about ourselves... We'll take really good care of our pet. For sure! Now we know, so back we go! Kit and Kate started their pet adventure all over again. But this time, they brushed the fuzzicle. And when it got dirty, they washed it. And when it was time for a snack, they fed it too. Kit and Kate made their pet very happy. And that made the fuzzicle happy to play and play for the rest of the day. Because if you take care of your pet, the fun takes care of itself. Where will we go? Who will we be? What will we do?
we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. The much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> the Choo Choo Train. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, train engineer hats. And gloves. Let's work on a train. Yeah, I want to blow the whistle. Me too. Woo, woo. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, let's, let's go. Kid and Kate jumped out of their magical box and headed off to Startville Station to meet Barry and Larry, twin conductors with an appetite to match. You are the messiest eater I've ever seen. You're the messiest eater I've ever seen. That's, That's because, because you don't, don't have, have a mirror. <laughs> uh, That's right, ducks. Eat up. It's almost time for the yellow flash to pull out of here. And you too, kittens. Eat some breakfast and meet me on the blue comet. We'll get going as soon as you're ready. Hmm. Fish or milk? Nothing for me. I'm way too excited to eat. The faster we get on that train, the quicker we can leave. And blow the whistle. Woo, woo! Can we blow the train whistle, Barry? Just get us to Enville Station on time and you can blow that whistle. No problem. Good, I'm counting on you. Now, start shoveling that vroomium. This engine can't run if it doesn't have fuel. You got it. All aboard! Keep up the good work, kittens. We're chugging along right on schedule. Ooh, I'm getting tired. I'm already tired. But we gotta keep shoveling. I can't. I'm all pooped out. Me too. Oh no. The train's slowing down. Now we'll never make it on time. And never blow that whistle. Sounds like the ducks made it on time. Then along came a mysterious stranger. Why did the train stop? The engine ran out of vroomium. And why does the engine need vroomium? Because vroomium is fuel. The train can't run without it. So why don't you just shovel in some more fuel? We don't have any energy to do it. Sounds like you ran out of fuel too. What did you have for breakfast? We skipped it. Oh, now I understand. Food is fuel for our bodies. That keeps our engine running. Thanks, Dad. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. But this time, we'll eat a really good breakfast. Yeah, that way we won't get tired and we'll keep this engine running. Now we know, so back we go. Kid and Kate started their train adventure all over again. But this time, they made sure to eat a good breakfast before heading off to work. Fish and milk. What do you say, Kate? Ready to go? Yep, I'm all fueled up. If you want your engine to go, 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 go real fast and not go slow. Just remember this simple rule that your engine can't run if it doesn't have fuel. If you want your engine to go, 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 go real fast and not go slow. Just remember this simple rule that your engine can't run if it doesn't have fuel. Great work, kittens. We're pulling in right on time. And that means... Yep, go ahead. This stop... Anvil Station. Sounds like it's time to refuel. <laughs> that sounds good to us. <laughs> Where will we go? Who will we be? 
what will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> now we're cooking. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, Kit, pots and pans. We can be cooks in a fancy restaurant. Not a fancy restaurant. The fancy restaurant. Woofies! Go, Kitty Kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran straight into the legendary kitchen of Woofies. Bonjour, kittens. Right on time. Great. Let's start cooking. No. I have something much more important for you. Voila! Wash these dirty dishes. Huh? My robot will teach you. Can I count on you to get all these dishes clean? Yes, Wolfie. Robot, teach them how to clean the dishes. doing fine. Robot, clean more dishes. Great idea, Kate. We'll just wait here and put the clean dishes up on the shelf when they come out. I need more dishes before my food gets cold. More dishes coming right up. Good work, kittens. Keep them coming. Yeah, good work, Mr. Robot. Clean more dishes, please. Where are clean dishes? I need dishes now! Mr. Robot, don't stop! Do the dishes! It ran out of power, Kate. We gotta do something. Kittens, my food is getting cold. What do we do? I think first you rinse them. Ugh. Yuck! Just put them in the way they are. Is everything okay in there? Clean plates coming right up. What do we do now? I think we put in soap. Is this enough? Put in more, just in case. Kittens, the customers are leaving. Just one more minute. Kit, I think we put in too much soap. What have you done? This is a disaster. My dinner. Oh. Then along came a mysterious stranger. Wow. What happened? We promised to wash the dishes, but we did it all wrong. And ruined Woofie's dinner. How come you did it all wrong? Because we never learned how. You mean no one taught you? Well, Woofie wanted us to learn from the robot. But he was so good at washing, we thought we didn't need to learn. We didn't know he'd run out of power. Maybe that's why Woofie wanted you to learn, in case something happened to the robot. Now I understand. If you always let someone else do something for you, you won't be able to do it when you have to do it yourself. Thanks, Dad. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. But this time, we'll learn how to wash those dishes all by ourselves. Yeah, like big kitties. Now we know, so back we go. Kid and Kate started their restaurant adventure all over again. But this time, the kittens made sure to learn how to wash the dishes just like Woofie wanted. Like that, right? I got it. Just two drops of soap. And after the robot ran out of power, Kid and Kate finished the job all by themselves, just like big kitties. Come on, Kate. We know what to do. Well done, kittens. Dinner was perfect. Now it's time to make the desserts. Would you like to learn how? Yeah! Now we're cooking! Where will we go? Who will we be? 
what will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> the Blame Game. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate, life vests. And boogie woogie boards. Let's canoe down the splishy, splashy river. And then ride the waves at Boogie Woogie Beach. Excellent. Go, Kitty Katies, let's go. Kid and Kate jumped out of their magical box and raced down to the dock on the splishy, splashy river. Get in, Kate. The sooner we get going, the sooner we'll be riding those waves. Just give me a second to... Kate, come back. Oh. Kate, hurry up! Just hold still so I can... Wait! Ugh, we'll never get to Boogie Woogie Beach. Because you're too slow. No, it's because you're too fast. I, I blame, blame you. you. Just stay put. Finally. Now we're getting somewhere. Somewhere called Boogie Woogie Beach. Ah! Go this way. To the right! No, left! This isn't working! You don't know what you're doing! You don't know what you're doing! I blame you! We're heading for the rocks! Now we're stuck in the rocks! It's your fault, Kit! It's your fault, Kate! Uh-oh. The canoe is sinking, Kit! Quick, climb up on the rocks! Bye-bye, canoe! Then along came a mysterious stranger. <laughs> What's wrong, kitties? We wanted to go ride the waves at Boogie Woogie Beach, but our canoe got stuck in the rocks. What canoe? I don't see a canoe. It sunk, because Kit made a hole in it. I only made a hole after Kate made a hole. Oh, you're playing the blame game. I heard about this game. How do you win? I win when Kate admits that she sunk the canoe. I win when Kit admits that it's all his fault. And after one of you wins, then you can go to Boogie Woogie Beach? No, we don't have a canoe anymore. Oh, right. It sunk while you were playing the blame game. Ah, now I get it. Blaming each other doesn't help you solve your problems. It just wastes time. Thanks, Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kit. But this time, we won't play the blame game. Right. If we have a problem, we'll figure out how to fix it instead of worrying about whose fault it is. Now we know, so back we go! Kit and Kate started their river adventure all over again. But this time, when things didn't go just right. Kit, come back! Kate, hurry up! We'll never get to Boogie Woogie Beach. You're too slow. No, it's because you're... Wait, it doesn't matter. Right. I'll hold the canoe steady so you can get in. Thanks. I'm ready. Then let's go. Ah! We knew it was going to do that. Yeah, but it's still scary. We're heading for the rocks. Again. It's because you... No, you. It, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Hold on! Great job, Kate. Come on, Kit. We said we wouldn't play the blame game. You're right. So, how do we get out of here? Maybe we can use our paddles. To push ourselves off. Ugh. It's working! Great, Great idea, idea, Kate! Next stop, Boogie Woogie Beach. Aloha, kittens. You ready to hit the waves? Yeah! Well, just don't blame me if it's too much fun. <laughs> and from then on, Kit and Kate never played the blame game again. Because when the blame game ends, the fun can begin. Excellent!
what will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> and what if? What do you want to play today, Kit? Let's look in the box. Look, Kit, two tickets. To Corny Cat's Kit Comedy Cavalcade. I love Corny Cat. Meow, too. <laughs> go, go, Kitty Kitties, kitties let's, let's go. Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran with their tickets to the Kitty Coliseum. They could hardly wait for the show to begin. Welcome to Corny Cat's Kit Comedy Cavalcade. Your seats are right over there. Enjoy the show. Thanks. Start the show. We want Corny. Hansel, just calm down. No, he's right. Corny Cat's the best. Bring out Corny Cat. Guys, I just saw something awful behind the stage. A big, hairy bear. Well, this is a forest. And there are bears in the forest. With red fur? Bears aren't red. Exactly. And what if it's not a bear, but a monster? Like a gargle snarf. And what if the monster scares off the stage crew? They'll have to cancel the show. No! And what if he attacks Corny Cat? And eats him. And what if the gargle snarf is still hungry and comes out here to eat us? There's a monster who wants to eat us! Run for your life! Where are you going? There's a monster! A monster? Stop! Don't run! Stay calm! <laughs> Then along came a mysterious stranger. You look terrified, kittens. What's wrong? There's a monster in the theater. A monster? Did you see it? No, but one of the other kids saw a big, red, hairy thing behind the stage. We had to run away or it would have eaten us. Strange. I heard everyone laughing inside. Hmm. Kids don't usually laugh when monsters are eating them. So it probably wasn't a monster. But what was that big, red, hairy creature? Who knows? Well, maybe one of the grown-ups who works there would know. Yeah, like the lady who took our tickets. Oh, now I understand. When a kid tells you something scary, before you get all frightened, you can ask a grown-up if there's anything real to worry about. Thanks, Mom! Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. But this time, we won't just believe everything we hear. Especially the scary stuff. Right. And if we get scared, we'll talk to a grown-up. Now we know, so, so back we go! Kid and Kate started their corny cat comedy adventure all over again. But this time, when they heard that something scary might be in the woods... Guys, I just saw something awful behind the stage! A big, hairy bear! And what if it's not a bear? Exactly! Maybe it's a monster! And what if... We ask someone who might know what it is before we scare ourselves silly. Good idea, Kate. How about her? Excuse me, can we ask you a question? Of course. What is it? Our friend saw something scary backstage. And we're a little worried. Was it big? Yes. And hairy? Yes. And red? Yes! <laughs> That's nothing to worry about. But what is it? It's a surprise. But I promise you'll like it. Okay. Then we won't worry. Thanks. We want Corny. We want Corny. We want Corny. <gasps> Welcome, boys and girls. Hi, Corny Cats. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm so glad we asked someone about that creature. Meow too. Do it again, Corny. What will we 
we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. The much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> Dressed to ill. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, Kit, suitcases. Let's go on an ocean cruise. And see the wonders of the world. Sounds like smooth sailing to me. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, let's go. Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box and climbed aboard the SS Kitty. They could hardly wait to find out where they were going first. Welcome aboard, passengers. Our first stop, the Great Minx in the Hotsy Totsy Desert. Today's weather, sunny and very hot. Kit, come on, let's get dressed. Pretty awesome, huh? It's gonna be hot, Kit. Don't you wanna wear shorts and a t-shirt? No, that's what everyone wears. Okay. Smile. Oh, I'm boiling. Wasn't that fun? No. Attention, passengers. Our next stop, the Eister Islands. Today's weather, snowy and very cold. Wow, I can't believe it. Let's get changed. Kit, it's gonna be really cold. Don't you wanna wear a coat? No way. I'll look much cooler like this. Okay. Cheese! Freeze! Wow, what a great picture! Yeah, great. Uh, uh, achoo! Our next stop, the crying waterfalls of Wettenstein. Today's weather, rain, followed by showers and a downpour. I know what to wear. Mm, me too. Achoo. Are you sure? It's going to be very rainy. But I want to look nice. Have you ever seen so much water? <laughs> Kit, cover your nose, please. Achoo. I don't feel so good. Me neither. <gasps> you caught a bad cold, and you've given it to your sister. Our next stop, Chiliville. Let's get ready, Kate. Achoo. You two are not going anywhere. You'll have to stay in bed until the end of the cruise. The end of the cruise? Yeah, I'm afraid so. No! Not fair. <coughs> then along came a mysterious stranger. You two look awful. What happened? Kit got us both sick. He did? How? First, he wanted to wear his parka in the desert, and he got totally hot. Then, I told him to wear something warm. But I looked so much better in my shorts. And I told him to wear his raincoat to the waterfalls. But I didn't want to, and I got soaked and sick. Well... Anyone would get sick dressing like that. Oh, now I understand. If you don't want to get sick, you have to wear the right clothes for the weather. Thanks, Mom! Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Kate. Let's try again. But this time, I promise I'll dress right. Now we know, so back we go! Kit and Kate started their adventure all over again. But this time, Kit picked out clothes that were right for the weather. When it was going to be hot, Kit wore shorts. And when the captain said it was going to be cold, he wore a nice warm coat. And when the forecast called for rain, Kit looked happy as could be in his raincoat. Attention, passengers. Our next stop, the Rainbow Forest of Chiliville. The weather today is cool and breezy. Well, sounds like sweater weather to me. And Kit learned that when you pick the right clothes, you can have a great time no matter what the weather. Look! Wow! Who will we be? Who 
what will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> Quiet time. What do you want to play today, Kit? Let's look in the box. Kit, look! A tuba and a drum! And marching band hats! We can be a marching band and play music! Sounds good to me! Go, kitty kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box and marched over to Friendlyville, the friendliest town around. Where are all the friendly people? Maybe they're inside. Look, a library! I bet someone in there would like to hear our music. Oh, musicians, I love music. Everyone in Friendlyville does. Great! Shh! Please, go! She said they love music. Not ours, I guess. Hey, let's try the police station. Wow, a marching band. I love marching bands. Yay! Police station. Someone stole your what? Confetti and beach ball? What? What? Hey, you two, stop. You're going to have to leave. Now. He didn't like our music either. Maybe we didn't play loud enough. How about the nursery school? Me, me, me. Nap time is so peaceful. Oh, what a surprise. The children are just crazy about music. Super! Oh, kids, calm down. Oh, sh 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 calm down, please. Please. Let's get out of here. My ears hurt. Everyone in Friendlyville hates our music. They should call it Grumpyville if you ask me. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's wrong, kitties? We want to be in a marching band and play music. But no one likes it. Really? How can you tell? The librarian said she loves music. But when we played, she asked us to leave. And the policeman said he loves music too. But when we played, he made us stop. And the little kids are crazy about music. But when we played, they all started crying. See? They hated our music. What were the people doing in the library? Reading. And the policeman? Talking on the phone. And the children? Sleeping. Well, do you like noises when you're reading or on the phone or sleeping? No. no. Hey, maybe they wanted us to stop playing because they needed it to be quiet. Right. Not because they didn't like our music. Ah, oh, now I understand. There are some times and places where you shouldn't be noisy. And others where it's okay. Thanks, Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kit. But this time, we'll be sure to ask if it's okay to play. Now we know, so back we go. Kit and Kate started their marching band adventure all over again. But this time, instead of playing music when they wanted to, they found out when it would be best for everyone. I love music, but the library is a quiet place. We know. There's a stage in the center of town that's perfect for it. Will you come hear us after the library closes? I'd love to. Hi, we want to invite you to a concert after work. On the stage in town. Count me in. Police station. Someone stole your spaghetti and meatballs? Don't worry, sir. We have them right here. Safe and warm. We're playing music on the town stage. Bring the kids. Kid and Kate finally found the perfect spot for a marching band concert. For you see, when you make music in the right place at the right time, it's all right with everyone.
Me oh my blueberry pie. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate, sailor hats. We can play sailors. Yeah, we'll sail to Blueberry Pie Island. Yay! I love Blueberry Pie more than anything in the whole world. Go, go kitty, kitties, kitties, let's, let's go. go! Me oh my! Blueberry Pie! Me oh my! Blueberry Pie! Kit and Kate were so excited to go to Blueberry Pie Island that they could already smell the pies waiting for them. I can smell the pies! The boat to Blueberry Pie Island leaves when the time is three bells. Don't be late. Three bells. The first bell, Kate. Let's hurry. But Kate forgot all about pies after she spotted a pretty butterfly. He looks like you, Kate. Ha ha. Not now, Kate. We'll miss the boat. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. Me oh my. Blueberry pie. Me oh my. Blueberry pie. Me oh my. Kate? Now where had Kate gone? <laughs> One, <laughs> two, <laughs> three! Kate! You can't catch me, Kate! <laughs> Hold still! <laughs> Two bells! Hurry, Kate, we'll miss the boat! Right, sorry! Bye, ducks! Kid and Kate got back on the path, and the smell of blueberry pies grew even stronger. Me oh my! Blueberry pie! Me oh my! Blueberry pie! Me oh my! Kate? Kate was missing again. <sighs> hey, Kit, look what I can make. A hula skirt. Kate? Now a big brown bear. Grr. <sighs> I'm the oldest man in the world. <laughs> Come on and play, Kit. Kate will miss the bone. Huh? I have the oldest ears in the world. I can't hear ya. <laughs> <sighs> That's three bells. Come on. All aboard. Uh, uh. <laughs> Kit and Kate finally made it to the dock, but it was too late. Sorry, kids. Have to leave at three bells. Oh, no. It's not fair. <laughs> then along came a mysterious stranger. What's wrong, young lady? I want to go to Blueberry Pie Island. But we're too late. Why are you late? Because on the way here, there were so many fun things to do. That sounds nice. Yeah, but not as nice as Blueberry Pie Island. And now we can't get there. I see. Well, what could you do differently if you could try again? Uh, I guess I'd remember that I can't always do everything I want if there's someplace I need to get to on time. I understand. Thanks, Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kit. I want to go to Blueberry Pie Island. Me too. Now we know, so back we go. This time, Kate understood that if you need to get somewhere on time, sometimes you can't do everything you want. Sorry, no time for butterflies. Me oh my! Blueberry Pie! I'd love to bounce with you, ducks, but we've got a boat to catch. One. Kit. <laughs> Me oh my. Blueberry pie. No time for dress up today. We're going to Blueberry Pie Island. Me oh my. Blueberry pie. <laughs> Ahoy, mateys. You're right on time. I was just about to ring three bells. Can I do it? Sure. Ring it three times. All aboard! And Kid and Kate sailed off to Blueberry Pie Island at last. And they had a very, very good time. Let's go! <laughs> 
mad, mad, mad. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Paints. Brushes. Smocks. Let's be painters. Yeah, with our own studio. Go, go kitty kitties, let's go! When Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box, their playroom transformed into an amazing artist studio. I've got everything planned. First, we'll paint a sunrise like this. Then a still life like this. And then a serious portrait like this one. And when we have enough pictures, we can have our own art show. Yeah! First picture, sunrise over Paris. Grab your watercolors, the sunrise is coming. Okay. And here it comes. No! Clouds ruined my picture. <laughs> it's okay, Kit. Let's just do the still life. <clears throat> okay. Kit decided to move on to the next part of his plan, and Quick Quack and Quake were happy to help their friends get set up. Great, let's draw. Just like I planned. Handlebars, wheels, <laughs> not again. <laughs> That's better. Pedals, seat. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's not funny. Let's just do the portrait. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Okay, looks great, guys. Now hold still. Good, some yellow. Finally, things were going just like Kit planned, until... Uh, stop moving! <laughs> Will you all stop it? You stop it, Kit. You're being no fun. You want me to stop? Fine, I quit. That's not fair. Hey! Oh! Uh. Hey, where are you going? So much for our great day of painting. Then along came a mysterious stranger. Artists, what is the matter? Everything. The sunrise got rained out, the still life wouldn't hold still, and my serious portrait was full of silly sneezes. I couldn't paint Anything I planned. You planned? But how can you plan when it will be sunny? Or when something might fall? Or when someone might sneeze? Well, I can't. Of course not. Life is full of surprises. But surprises can be fun, too. Oh, I get it. Just because things don't go the way I planned doesn't mean I can't have fun. Very artfully said. Thanks, Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Kate, let's try again. Now that's a plan I like. Now, now we know, know, so back we go. Kit and Kate started their painting adventure all over again. But this time, when things didn't go the way he wanted, Kit tried to find a different way to have fun. Looks like a rainy day. Hey, that gives me a new idea for my painting. I call it wet, wet morning. And when the still life wouldn't keep still, Kit started drawing something else in a hurry. I call it bad bike, flying fruit. <laughs> That's great. And this time when the duck sneezed, <laughs> this one's called the big sneeze. Wow, super. <laughs> I have a painting too, Kit. It's called Mad, Mad, Mad. It's you when you were getting so mad. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and with so many great pictures, Kit and Kate started making plans for their big art show. Kitty, 
time to climb. What do you want to play today, Kit? I don't know. Let's look in the box. Look, Kit. Climbing hats and backpacks. We can climb Swiss cheese mountain. Are you sure you can do it? That's a big mountain. Of course I can. I'm a big girl. Okay, then. To Swiss cheese mountain. Go, kitty kitties. Let's go. Kit and Kate set off on their big adventure. They walked through Butter Valley and over the Milky River until they reached what they were looking for. Here it is, Swiss Cheese Mountain. I want to climb all the way to the top. It's not too scary for you, is it, Kate? No way. I'm not a baby. Okay, then. Let's start climbing. Hands come first. Feet come too. Up, up, up. yodel a <laughs> Kate and Kate climbed and climbed until they reached the plateau. Wow, so beautiful. Look, that cloud looks like a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a fish. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Let's slide on down and do it again. Then Kate noticed another path that led even higher. Hey, Kit. I want to climb all the way to the tippy top. We can't. That part's only for big kitties. Look at the sign. You see, Kate, we're not big enough to go up higher. I'm no baby. I can do it. But it's not safe for kids. Let's go take the slide down and climb again. It'll be fun. Okay. You go first, Kit. Sure. Kate? Kate, where did you go? Oh no, Kate! I don't care what Kit says. I can climb it. I'm no baby. Kate, wait! Hands come first, feet come too. See, I can do it. I knew I was big enough. Okay, hands come. Uh, hands come. Uh. Come down right now. It's not safe. I can't. I'm stuck. Yeah. Oh, no. Now we're both stuck. What do we do? Then along came a mysterious stranger. Hey, what are you doing up here? This area isn't for kids. Didn't you see the sign? Yeah, but I wanted to prove I'm not a baby. No, of course not. You're a big girl. But part of being big is being smart enough to stay safe. Aw, but I wanted to have fun. Well, did you try the slide? That's for kids. I want to do the stuff that big kitties do. <laughs> That's funny, because I wish I was still little enough to go on that slide. It used to be my favorite. Really? Yeah, but I can't go on it anymore because I'm too big. It's just for you kids. And probably a lot more fun for kids than being stuck right here. <laughs> That's for sure. I made a big mistake. I thought that playing on stuff for kids means you're a baby. But really, it just means you're playing smart. I get it. Thanks, Dad. Uh, <laughs> how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> I want to try the day over the smart way. Now that sounds like a big girl. Now, now we know, so back we go. Kid and Kate set back out for Swiss Cheese Mountain. But this time, Kate decided she was going to have some big time fun made especially for kids. Hands come first, feet come too. Up, 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 your leg. <laughs> <laughs> It sure looks like fun. I can't wait until I'm big enough to try. But for now, the last one down the slide is a rotten egg. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait for me. Woo! And Kid and Kate had big time fun made just for kids. <laughs> Kitty, kitty, let's go! <laughs> <laughs>
The cat elephant. What do you want to play today, Kit? I don't know. Let's look in the box. Look, Kit, a ball. That's not a ball, Kate. That's a dragoon egg. No way. What's a dragoon? They're like dragons, but they float like balloons. Wow. Then let's go find a dragoon and ride it. See you soon, big dragoon. Go, kitty kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate set out to find a dragoon. They looked everywhere for one. Dragoon! Where are you? Hey, Kate, did you find them? No, but I found three pop cows. One, two, three! <laughs> Quick goofing off, Kate. We need to find that dragoon. Oh, where are you? Then Kit saw someone who might be able to help them. Excuse me, do you know where we can find a dragoon? Sure I do. Great. Oh, um, what are you? I'm a catelephant. I know all about dragoons. Do you want me to help you find one? His nose is so strange. Yeah, but he seems friendly to me. Well, he makes me nervous. I think we should go. Um, thanks, Catelphin, but I think we're going to keep looking for that dragoon ourselves. It's my nose, isn't it? I thought it'd be fun to play together. It's so much more fun with friends. Aww. Now, where is that dragoon? Kate, come here. Look, a dragoon. See, we didn't need that cat elephant. Wow, a real live dragoon. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> it sounds like the cat elephant. He sounds really sad. We should go find him. Kit and Kate followed the crying to a cave. He's in there. <laughs> I was only trying to be nice. Hey, cat elephant, please come out. Go away! We're sorry. Leave me alone! <laughs> oh, I ruined everything. No cat elephant, no dragoon, no fun. I feel terrible. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's wrong, kitties? We were searching for a dragoon, and then we met a cat elephant who knew all about them. But I was scared of his long nose, so I didn't want him to play with us. That made him really cry. Was he friendly? Yeah, he seemed very friendly. Then what difference did it make what his nose looked like? None, I guess. Now I understand. It doesn't matter what someone looks like. What matters is if they're friendly or not. Yeah! Thanks, Mom. Oh, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. I'll be a lot nicer this time. Me too. Now, now we know, know, so back we go. Kit and Kate started their search for a dragoon again. But this time when they met the cat elephant. I know all about dragoons. Do you want me to help you find one? Sure. It's much more fun with friends. Look, that dragoon is so big. There's enough room on there for you, me, and our new friend to all ride together. Let me show you how I ride him. Wow, that's cool. Hop on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Woo! Thanks for playing with me. Sure. Everything's much more fun with friends. Kit and Kate had a new friend and a great day riding the dragoon together.
The Great Race. What do you want to play today, Kit? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate, racing caps. Let's be scooter racers. Yeah, we'll enter the great scooter race down Willy Nilly Hill. We can race against the ducks. And I'm going to win. No way, Kit, I am. Go, go kitty kitties, let's go. Kit and Kate could feel the excitement as they arrived at Willy Nilly Hill. Look at this hill. I'm going to go so fast. And I'm going to go faster. Hi, ducks. <coughs> See you at the starting line. One scooter kit, please. And one for me, too. Here you go. Now take your boxes to the starting line and put your scooters together. When I fire the starting gun, the race begins. And I'm going to win it. No, I am. <coughs> it looks like putting these scooters together is easy. Kit and Kate emptied their boxes and began putting together the parts of their scooters. OK, one running board, one handlebar, and one wheel? But I need two wheels. Kate was having trouble, too. Hey, my scooter doesn't have a handlebar. Hmm, Kit has a handlebar. Hey, Kit, can I have your handlebar? OK, but only if you'll trade me one of your wheels. Mmm, deal. All scooters to the starting line. Now. Now I'm ready. I got two wheels. Oh, but no handlebar. Great, now I have a handlebar. But only one wheel. Kit, I need my wheel back. And I need my handlebar. Trade? Okay. Now I'm ready. Me too. Racers, on your mark. Get set, go. Kate, I need my wheel. Give it back to me. Well, I need my handlebar. I asked first. No, I did. Did not. Did too. We have a winner. A winner? We didn't even start yet. If you had just given me your handlebars. If you had just given me a wheel. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's wrong, kids? I lost the race. Lost it? We didn't even start it. How come? There weren't enough scooter parts. Not enough parts? Oh. Well, how many wheels does a scooter need to work? Two. And how many wheels do you have all together? Well, I have one, and Kate has two. That's one, two, three all together. And how many handlebars does a scooter need? Just one. Here. Interesting. Hey, wait! I get it! There were enough parts for the scooter. We just needed to think about working together instead of working by ourselves. Like the ducks. Then we could have had a scooter. And a lot more fun. We get it. Thanks, Dad! How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Kit, let's go back and try again. Yeah, but this time we'll be a team. Now we know, so back we go! Kit and Kate set off again for the race, but this time they thought about how they could win by working together. Two scooter kits, please. Here you go. And who's gonna win? We are! This is the coolest scooter ever! And the best team ever! All scooters to the starting line. Racers, on your mark, get set, go! Kit and Kate raced off together down Willy Nilly Hill. And working together, they had the greatest great race ever. Kitty, kitty, let's go! <laughs> 
Baking Buddies. What do you want to play today, Kit? I don't know. Let's look in the box. Look, Kit, aprons. And baking hats. Let's be bakers. Yeah, we can bake a cake for the Squirrel Princess's birthday. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate set out for the royal kitchen. They were so excited to make the Squirrel Princess the best birthday cake she'd ever had. All right, let's get started. Now, where is that royal recipe book? <laughs> Thanks, royal helpers. Come on, Kate. Let's pick out a yummy cake to bake. Hmm. Banana bark cake. Nah, too chewy. Twigberry upside down cake. Eh, uh, too crunchy. How about this one? Lemon duck cake. <laughs> Oops, sorry. I got it. Amazing acorn layer cake. The princess will love that. So what do we do? The directions are right here. First, we need to gather the ingredients. Well, that was easy. Okay, put three cups of flour in a bowl. Got it. One, two, three. Perfect. Next, add one cup of milk. I'll do it. I love milk. I love milk, too. Now, two cups of sugar and two teaspoons of salt. Right. Two cups of salt. No, I said two teaspoons of salt. That's way too much. Oops. Don't worry. We'll just add more sugar. Perfect. Next, two cups of nuts. Nuts? Yuck. Let's use fish instead. Great idea. Okay, royal helpers. Bake for 10 minutes. Kid and Kate could hardly wait till their creation was ready. Yay! It's ready! Woohoo! I bet the princess has never seen a cake like ours before. <laughs> but the cake didn't come out quite the way they expected. That isn't a cake, it's a rock. Mm, but maybe it tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we ruined the princess's birthday. And then along came a mysterious stranger. What's the matter, kitties? We tried to bake this cake for the princess, but it came out horribly. Strange, I don't see any fish here in this recipe. Well, that was our idea. Your idea? But if you wanted to make this cake, why didn't you follow the directions? Because we were having so much fun just doing it our own way. But it doesn't seem like you're having fun now. Of course not. We've ruined the cake. And the princess's birthday. Now I understand. It might not always be as much fun just to do what the directions say. But you'll be a whole lot happier when things come out the way you wanted them to. Now that sounds like a recipe for success. Thanks, Thanks Mom. Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> come on, Kate, let's try again. Yeah, but this time let's do it just like the recipe says. Now we know, so back we go! Kid and Kate started their baking adventure all over again. But this time... One cup of milk. And no more! They followed the directions exactly. Just two teaspoons of salt. And when the cake was done... <laughs> One, two, three, four. The Royal Princess. <gasps> is that my cake? Yes, it is. We hope you like it, Your Highness. Like it? I love it. This is going to be my best birthday party ever. I hope you'll come. Really? We'd love to. And that was the beginning of a sweet friendship. <laughs> Where will we go? Who will we be? What will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> 
the Kitty Express. What do you want to play today, Kate? I don't know. Let's look in the box. Look, Kate, postman hats. Ooh, we can be postmen. Rain or snow, fog or hail. The Kitty Express will bring your mail. <laughs> <laughs> go, go, Kitty Kitties, kitties let's, let's go! go! Kid and Kate jumped out of their magical box and headed off to the post office for their first assignment. Hi there, can I help you? We want to be postmen. Then you'll need to pass the postman's test. Pick up the package at this address and bring it back here before sunset. Uh, there's your dear cart. Good luck. This will be easy. I'll be in charge of the cart and you'll be in charge of the package. Great. We have to pick up a red package here at this yellow shack. Got it. Giddy up. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Kid and Kate drove like the wind until they reached the yellow shack on the map. Here it is, Kate. The instructions say to turn the handle on this mailbox. Can't catch it! Kit, why didn't you catch it? It's not my job, Kate. I'm the driver. Yeah, but you could have helped. Yuck. Come on, Kate, hop on. It's starting to snow. Rain or snow, fog or hail, the, the Kitty, Kitty Express, Express will bring your mail. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dear, giddy up. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Office. We'll be there in no time. But as Kid and Kate headed back to the post office, they noticed that their cart was slowing down. Hey, what's going on? It's the snow, Kate. It's too hard for the deer. Let's get out and help. Sorry, but that's not my job, Kit. <sighs> Come on, dear, pull. All this pulling has made me so tired. That's enough for today. Oh, good night. This is terrible. Now we'll never be postman. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's wrong, kiddies? First our package got soaked. Then our deer fell asleep. Now we'll never pass our postman test. Why did the package get soaked? Because it flew over Kate's head. Well, did you try to catch it? No, that was her job. And why is the deer sleeping? He got tired pulling our cart through the snow. Well, did you get out and help so it would be easier? No, that's his job. But now neither of you can do your job. Well, yeah. Oh, I understand. Working together means helping each other. Even if it's not your job. Thanks, Mom. How did you know? <laughs> Come on, Kate, let's try again. But this time, I'll help you if you need. And I'll help you, Kit. Now we know, so back we go. Kit and Kate started their postman test all over again. But this time, when Kate needed help doing her job, This time, when the cart got stuck in the snow... Hang on, kids! I'll help! Thanks. Thanks! Sure, I'm happy to help! There it is, Kit! The post office! Hang on! Rain or snow, fog or hail, the Kitty Express will bring your mail! Congratulations! You passed your test! You mean we're real postmen now? You sure are. Here. What is it? Open it. Our very own mailbags. Wow. And now that they were real postmen, Kit and Kate were ready to deliver help wherever it was needed. Kitty, kitty, let's go! <laughs> 
safari so bad. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, safari hats. And cameras. Let's go on safari. We can take the first pictures ever of the sneaky sneaker monkey. Yeah. Go, go kitty kitties, kitties, let's go. Kit and Kate could hardly wait to get into the jungle and take pictures of the sneaky sneaker monkey. Which way's the jungle, sir? That way. Do you have all your supplies? Supplies? Of course. You'll need bug cream for the swamp, hiking boots for the thorny thistles, and a flashlight in case it gets dark. They're over there. Thanks. Do you see the bug cream? No. Do you see the boots? No. Let's just go. Yeah, we got our cameras. We don't need that other stuff. Kid and Kate ran into the jungle swamp. Now, where was that sneaky sneaker monkey? <laughs> there she is! Good thing we didn't wait. Come on, after her! But suddenly, Kit and Kate ran into something they hadn't prepared for. <laughs> Ow! Nipsy flies! Ouch! Stop it! Ow! Ow! If we only had that bug cream. <laughs> Where did she go? Ow! Ooh. She went that way. Come on! Ow! Kid and Kate finally got away from the Nipsey flies. There she is! <laughs> Quick, after her! But then they ran into another problem that they hadn't prepared for. Ow! Thorny thistles! Ow! 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 This hurts! <laughs> Oh, she's getting away! Oh, why didn't we bring those hiking boots? She's gone. We're never gonna get her picture. Then along came a mysterious stranger. Hello, explorers. <laughs> what wrong? We wanted to get a picture of the sneaky sneaker monkey, but she got away. Why she get away? First the Nipsey flies kept biting us. Then these thorny thistles hurt our feet. You kitties in jungle, you need bug cream and good shoes. We know, but it was taking so long to get them. And we didn't want to miss our chance to take your picture. Well, did you get picture? We never got a chance. Wait, I get it. If you take the time to get ready before you leave, you'll be ready to do what you want once you get there. Thanks, Dad. How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Kate. Let's try it again. Yeah, but this time we won't leave until we're ready. <laughs> now we know, so back we go. Kid and Kate started their safari adventure all over again. But this time... I found the bug cream. And here are the boots. And I've got the flashlights. Now we're ready. Not quite. Put on your bug cream. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> Kid and Kate headed into the swamp. But this time, when the Nipsey Flies tried to nip... Not on, Nipsey Flies. This time, we're ready for you. <laughs> oh, bug cream. <laughs> there she is. Come on. And when the thistles got thorny... Faster, Kate. No problem with these boots on. <laughs> <laughs> now, where was that monkey? Look, her sneaker prints. She went in there. But it's so dark inside. No problem. We have flashlights. Oh, yeah. Flashlights on. Hey, why are you following me? We just want to take your picture. Can we? Sure. Here's one for you. Wow, I never saw my picture before. Can I take some of you? Sure. sure. And together with their new friend, Kit and Kate have a picture-perfect day. <laughs> Kitty, kitty, let's go! <laughs> oh, 
Hocus Pocus. What do you want to play today, Kate? I don't know. Let's look in the box. Look, Kit, top hats. And capes. Let's be magicians. Yeah, we'll star in the Hocus Pocus show. Go, go kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate jumped out of their box and dashed straight to the entrance for the big show. Wow, look who's in the show, Kate. Oh, they're really good. But we're better. Just wait until it's our turn. Hmm, it's locked. Hey, open up. We're here for the show. Hello. What do you want? We're great magicians. We want you to open the door so we can come in and do our tricks. Well, all it takes is a little magic to open this door. This'll be easy. We know plenty of magic. Behold, as I make this donut disappear. Watch. Ta-da! That's great, kid, but that's not the kind of magic I'm looking for. Uh, that was a good trick, too. Hmm, maybe he wants us to do some magic together. Yeah, that's it. Oh, what a surprise. Prepare for wonder. Rise, kitty kitty. Now, rise. <laughs> That's great, kids, but that's not the kind of magic I'm looking for. Hmm. Kit and Kate wondered, what kind of magic could that guard be looking for? I know! Magic sparkles! Yeah, that's gotta be it! Open sesame! <gasps> Why didn't we think of that before? Hey, where is everybody going? Show's over, kids. You missed it. Over? That's not fair. We wore magician's costumes. And showed him some of our best magic tricks, too. And he still wouldn't open the door for us. Now we missed the show. Then along came a mysterious stranger. Why the long faces, kitties? The guard wouldn't let us into the magic show. How come? We don't know. He said we just needed to do some magic. And we did all of our best tricks for him. We even used magic sparkles. Maybe there's some other kind of magic? Of course, Kit. How could we forget? Magic words. You mean Hocus Pocus? No, silly. Abracadabra? No. Shazam? <laughs> Alaka Bluey? No. I'm joking, Kate. I get it. Please and thank you are the most powerful magic words of all. Right. Thanks, Mom. Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Kate. Let's try again. Yeah, but this time we'll use the right kind of magic to get the door to open. Now we know, so back we go. Kid and Kate started their magic adventure all over again. But this time when they got to the entrance. Hello, what do you want? We're great magicians. And we'd like to come in and do our tricks in the show. Would you open the door for us, please? Yay! Yay! Um, excuse me, but we can't get by. Just use the magic words. Thank you for opening the door. You're very welcome. Now you'd better hurry. You're on next. And now, the moment you've been waiting for. Oh, please work. Ta-da! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! And so with just the right magic words, Kit and Kate opened the door to a truly magical day. Soup 
super duper party pooper. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate, party hats. <gasps> Let's go to party land. Where every day's a party. That'll be fun. Go, go kitty kitties, 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 let's go! Kid and Kate couldn't wait to get to party land. But when they got there, it didn't look anything like what they imagined. Huh? This is party land? Look! Whoa! Welcome! I'm the party land party genie! Time to pick our special kitty for the day! Super duper! That means it's your special day! Let the party begin! Wow! I love it! <laughs> For me? Oh, thank you! Of course! You're the party princess! Hey, what do I get? You get to enjoy your sister's big day! Huh? Now make a wish and blow out the candles. But I want a cake! I wish for race cars. No fair, Kit. It's my special day. Hey, what's going on? Sorry, it won't work for you. Today's the party princess's day. Go ahead, Kate. Hmm. I wish for music. <laughs> wow! Go ahead, push the pedals. Hooray for Kate! Kate is great! She's so great, so great, so great! Hooray for Kate! Kate is great! She's so Why, great, so great, so great! You. Hooray <laughs> for Kate! Kate is great! Hey, Kate! It's my turn! I want a song about me! This stinks! Easy now, Kit! I'm sure you'll like what's coming next. Now swing at the shiny star with the wand. If you hit it, wonderful surprises will come out. Forget it. Let go, Kit. No, if I can't do it, no one will. <gasps> you broke the party. Goodbye. Oh, no. Then along came a mysterious stranger. Yo, what's wrong, kitties? We came to Party Land for a great time, but Kit ruined the party. Why'd you ruin it? Because all the special stuff was for Kate, and none was for me. Huh. Tell me, did you ever have a day when you got special stuff? Yeah, my birthday. Huh. And did everyone have fun? We all had lots of fun. And did everyone get the same special things you did? No, only I got the special stuff. Hey, wait, I get it. When you help make the day special for someone else, you help make the day fun for everyone. Thanks, Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Kate, let's try again. But this time, I'll help make your special day extra special. Now we know, so back we go. Kitty and Kate started their party land adventure all over again. But this time when the cake came out, Make a wish and blow out the candles, Kate. It's your special day. Yay! Ha-ha! <laughs> and when it was time to make music... Go on, Kate! Pedal! Hooray for Kate! Kate is great! She's so great, so great, so great! Hooray for Kate! Kate is great! And when it was time to hit the star... Go on! Swing, Kate! Uh, uh. I can't reach it, Kit. Can you do it? Sure I can. Wait. I can do something better. Go on. It's your special day. This is so much fun! Wow! Thanks, Kit! And by helping to make Kate's day extra special, Kit made the day special for everybody. Kitties, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> 
no lie. What do you want to play today, Kate? I don't know. Let's look in the box. Hey, Kit, what's that? It's a compass. It tells you which way is north. You mean we could use it to go to the North Pole? Great idea! We can fly there with the ducks in a hot air balloon. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, let's go! Kid and Kate headed straight to their beautiful balloon and thought about what they could do when they got to the North Pole. Maybe we could build a big snowman when we get there. Sure, that'll be fun. Here, Kate, keep the compass safe. I'll go and get the ducks. This is so cool. It doesn't matter which way I turn, the needle keeps pointing north. But Kate wasn't the only one fascinated by the compass. Hey, what's that? Ah! Oh no, Kit's gonna be so angry with me. I better not tell him. We're all here, Kate. Everybody climb on in. North we go to play in the snow! <laughs> now what do I do? Okay, Kate, which way's north? Uh, that way. No, no, I mean that way. Well, which way is it? Just read the compass. Where is the compass? Uh, there was a scary mouse, see? And he stole it from me. A little mouse took that big compass? No, this mouse was big. Really, really big. We have to get that compass back, Kate. Which way did he go? Oh no, he didn't run off. The mouse was huge. He ate it. Kate, you scared off the ducks. Kate, which way should we go? I don't know, but definitely not this way. This is terrible. No compass and no balloon. Now we'll never get to the North Pole. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's happened to your balloon, kitties? We were on our way to the North Pole, but we ended up here instead. How come? Because Kate lost our compass and then started making up big lies. Why did you lie? Because I couldn't find it, and I didn't want Kit to be angry with me. Well, did lying help you find it? No. I understand. If I had just told Kit the truth, he could have helped me look for it. Yeah, at least that way there's a chance we could have found it. Thanks, Dad. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Kit. Let's try again. But this time, if something bad happens, I'll tell you the truth right away. Now we know, so back we go! Kit and Kate got ready for their balloon adventure all over again. But this time... Hey, what's that? Oh, no. You won't scare me this time, Mr. Mouse. Hey, what's that? Ah! Well, Kit might get angry, but I'm going to tell him the truth this time. I'm very sorry, Kit, but I got scared by a little mouse, and I dropped the compass in the pond. Can you help me look for it? Sure, Kate, but we have a problem. That water's too deep for us. <coughs> you mean you'll go look for it? <coughs> Thanks! Ducks, I'm sure glad I told the truth this time. Me too. All aboard, north we go to play in the snow. And Kit, Kate, and the ducks flew straight to the North Pole, where they finally got that chance to build a great big snow mouse. <laughs>
Don't be shellfish. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look at diving suits. Let's be deep sea divers at the Great Rainbow Reef. Yeah! Go, kitty kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box and started diving to the ocean bottom. They'd never seen anything like it before. <laughs> it's beautiful! Hi, fish. Kate, look! A mermaid! Hi, Miss Mermaid. What a pretty necklace you've got. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five pearls. Where did they come from? Right over there in the oyster beds. These pearls grow inside the oysters. Hey, Kit, let's collect five pearls and make a beautiful necklace. Yeah, for Mom. Are the oysters nice? They were nice to me. But just remember, the oysters love their pearls very much. Thanks, Miss Mermaid. Look, every oyster has a pearl. This will be easy. Oh. Kit, they're yawning. We better ask them for their pearls before they fall asleep. Why bother them? We'll just wait till they fall asleep and take them. But she said they love their pearls very much. They won't mind. They're for a beautiful necklace. That's true. They're asleep. One, two, three, four, five. Five pearls! Hooray! Hey, 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 hey! They took our pearls! Get those kitties! Then along came a mysterious stranger. Well, you two kitties sure look shaken up. What happened? I don't know. All we wanted to do was make a pearl necklace like the mermaid has. But the oysters started chasing us and trying to bite us. Wait, you asked for their pearls and then they chased you? Well, we didn't exactly ask. Why not? We didn't want to bother their nap time, so when they fell asleep, we just took them. Well, were they glad you took their pearls and let them sleep? Glad? Mad is more like it. But why did they let the mermaid take their pearls? She must have asked them first, because she knows they love their pearls. Hey, I get it. If something doesn't belong to you, you should never take it without asking. Thanks, Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Kit, let's try again, but this time we'll make sure to ask for permission. Instead of just taking. Now we know, so back we go! Kit and Kate started their adventure all over again, but this time when they reached the oysters... Sorry, I see you're about to take a nap. But we'd like to make a pearl necklace for our mom. And we'd be really thankful if you could give us some of your beautiful pearls. Sure! <laughs> Thanks! Kit, it worked! One, two, three, four... You don't want to give up your pearl, do you, little guy? Mm -mm. It's okay. We understand. Thanks, anyway. Doesn't this feel better, Kit? It sure does. Come on, let's ask the next oyster. Could we please have your pearl, Mr. Oyster? You got it. It's huge! And Kit and Kate strung the pearls into a beautiful necklace for Mom. Look, Mom! Five pearls! Yeah, but the real pearls are you and Kit for being so nice to the oysters. And to me. <laughs> <laughs> Kitty, kitty, let's go! <laughs> 
the Candy Kingdom. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, a book of fairy tales. Ooh, let's go to Candy Kingdom and be part of our own fairy tale. Sweet! Go, go kitty kitties, let's go! Kid and Kate left right into Candy Kingdom, the sweetest place you could ever imagine. Only something was wrong. Please help me! Look! Up there! What's wrong, Fair Maiden? I'm being held prisoner by the evil witch, and when she gets back, she's going to turn me into a frog. Don't worry, we'll save you. Kit, let's find the door. You go that way. Oh, I didn't see any door. Me neither. Then how can we rescue the maiden? <gasps> Wait right here. Let's toss one end of this licorice vine up to the maiden. Then she can climb down. Good thinking! Oh, it's not long enough. You stay here. I'll find something else. I can use this candy cane like a pole and jump into the window. Great idea. But how will you two get back down? Bad idea. Fair Maiden, what do you have in your tower? Well, I have lots of marshmallows. Perfect. Throw some down. What are we going to do with marshmallows? We can stack them to make stairs. Stairs. I love it. Down below. <coughs> hey. Fair Maiden, we need more. What are we going to do? We've tried everything. This is terrible. It's worse than terrible. Here comes the witch. Well, hello, fair maiden. Hmm. Sorry I'm so late getting back. We'd better get hopping. <laughs> oh, no. Then along came a mysterious stranger. Why are you so sad, kitties? We couldn't save the fair maiden. And now she's a frog. Why couldn't you save her? We tried using everything we could find, but nothing worked. Yeah, the licorice vine was too short. And we would have gotten stuck up there if we used the candy cane like a pole. And a big bird ate our marshmallow stairs. See? We tried everything. It sounds to me like you tried everything one way. What do you mean? Wait, I get it. If we can think of different ways to use what we have, maybe we can find an answer. Yeah, and I already have a great idea. You thinking what I'm thinking? I think so. Thanks, Thanks Mom. Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's hurry, Kate. We've got a maiden to save. Now, now we, we know, know, so back we go. <laughs> Kit and Kate started their adventure all over again. But this time, they tried using what they had in a much more creative way. Don't worry, we'll save you. Go ahead, tie the vine to the stick. Right. What are you two fishing for? You'll see. Now we need a marshmallow. I've got some up here. Then throw one down, quick. <laughs> OK, Kate, follow me. Here he comes. Here, birdie birdie. It's working. Jump on, Kate. <laughs> Climb aboard, fair maiden. Your carriage has arrived. You really saved me. Oh, you two kittens are the sweetest. Ah, oh, shucks. And Kid and Kate flew the fair maiden back to her castle, where she lived happily ever after. Kitty, kitty, let's go! <laughs> 
The treasure of Paris Point. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, pirate hats. And a treasure map. Let's hunt for buried pirate treasure. Yeah, filled with sparkling jewels and gold coins. Go, go kitty kitties, let's go! Kid and Kate jumped out of their magic box and set sail in search of buried treasure. Next stop, Parrot Point. Kit, if it's a buried treasure, how are we going to dig it up? Uh, kitties need a shovel. Yeah, that's just what we need. Uh, on the rack. Look, that's just like the big, strong shovel Dad uses to dig holes in the garden. Uh, strong shovel. Yeah, but look at these. They're so much prettier. Oh, pretty shovel. We'll look great digging treasure with these. Yeah, they look so pretty with our hats. Now we look like real pirates. Oh, silly pirates. Oh, all ashore. Kid and Kate arrived at Parrot Point and looked at their map to find where they needed to dig. The treasure map says to look under the tallest tree. Is that the tallest? Or that? Neither. That's the tallest. Now the map says we need to dig next to Triangle Rock. Hmm. There, a triangle. All right, fancy pirate, dig. Ready or not, treasure, here we come. Aye, no treasure can hide from the likes of us. Shovel! It broke! Mine too! Arg! Alright then, matey, we'll have to dig with the handles! This isn't working! These shovels are terrible! We're never gonna dig up that treasure! Arg! Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's wrong, pirates? We wanted to dig up buried treasure. Did you have a map and tools? Yeah. Then what was the problem? Our tools broke. I never saw a good metal shovel do that. These aren't metal. We took the pretty gold ones. Ah, maybe they're pretty, but they're not strong enough for digging up buried treasure. These are just for hanging on the wall like a decoration. But they look like gold. And they look so pretty with our hats. Yeah. <laughs> Did you come here to look pretty or to dig up buried treasure? To dig up buried treasure. But those shovels look so much prettier than the metal ones. Hey, I get it. If you've got a job you really want to do, you need to know your tools are good for the job. And not just good looking. Now that's hard to argue with. Thanks, Dad! Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kit. But this time we'll pick the right tool for the job. You bet we will, matey! Now we know, so back we go! Kit and Kate started their treasure hunt all over again. But this time when they picked their tools... Not this thin, pretty one. It'll break. Yeah, it's pretty. But we need something strong. And this one sure isn't. Here we go. Good, strong iron. Just like Dad uses. And with real working tools, Kit and Kate dug up that treasure in no time. The treasure of Parrot Point. Wow! Our shovels worked! Yay! They sure did, Kate. From now on, I'll always pick the right tool for the job. Not just the prettiest one. Me too, matey. Arr! And by using the right tools, Kid and Kate discovered the treasure and the lesson they treasure forever. <laughs> <laughs> Kitty, kitty, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> 
hoedown, slow down. What do you want to play today, Kate? I don't know. Let's look in the box. Look, Kate, a guitar. And a violin. Let's play music for a big barn dance. Yeah, a big country hoedown. Go, go kitty, 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 let's go! Kit and Kate ran with their instruments to a great big ranch. It looked like just the perfect place for their concert. Morning, strangers. What can I do for you? We'd like to use your barn for a hoedown tonight. We'll play the music. Why, sure. Hey, and there's paper and paint in there so you can make a banner to let everyone in town know about it. Great idea. Thanks, Thanks ma'am. Come on, Kit. Let's go and make that sign. I'm sure everyone's going to come to the hoedown when they see this sign. Kit and Kate got started on their big banner. They were so excited about their concert, they didn't notice some unexpected visitors. <laughs> <laughs> and how are you today, Missy? I'd say she's hungry. Hey, Shoo, don't eat our paintbrushes. We need them to paint our banner. <laughs> Hey, stop that! Those are our instruments. We need them for the concert. <laughs> I guess he's a music lover. Lunch time! Come and get it! Oh boy, I'm hungry! Me too! Kid and Kate ran inside and sat down for lunch. The food was so delicious that they didn't notice what was happening right outside. Thanks for lunch, lunch ma'am. Ma Come on, Kate. We've got work to do. Oh, no. Our sign is ruined. And the paints and brushes are missing, too. It must have been that hungry cow. Oh, well, we'll just play the concert without the sign. Kate, the violin is missing. The mouse, he took it underground. And look. The cow probably stepped on it. There goes our hotel. Then along came a mysterious stranger. Why so sad, little cowpokes? We can't play our big hoedown tonight. What happened? We were working on our sign and the lunch bell rang. So we ran inside. But while we were eating, it rained and our sign got ruined. Well, at least you still got your instruments. No, we don't. Some animals ruined them. There must have been something you could have done to stop your stuff from getting ruined. No, there wasn't. You can't stop the rain. Or those pesky animals. Hey, I get it. Maybe you can't stop the weather or the animals, but you can put your things away where they'll be safe. Thanks, Dad! Dad. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> let's try again, Kate. But this time, let's not leave our things where they can get rained on. Or stepped on. Or chewed up. Or stolen. Now we know, so back we go. Kid and Kate grabbed their instruments and started their hoedown adventure all over again. But this time when the lunch bell rang... Lunch time! Come and get it! We'll be right there! Just as soon as we put away our things, where they'll be safe. Look, Kate! It's raining outside! Good thing we put everything away. As soon as the rain stopped, Kid and Kate finished their banner and hung it up for the whole town to see. And when evening came round, those kittens put on a hoedown that just wouldn't slow down. Let's go! <laughs> 
the big bouquet. What do you want to play today, Kit? I don't know. Let's look in the box. Look, a toy dinosaur. Why don't we go and visit some real dinosaurs? Yeah, in Dinosaur Valley. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, kitties, let's go. Kit and Kate leapt out of their magical box in search of a giant adventure in Dinosaur Valley. And as they marveled at the valley's beautiful flowers, Kit and Kate heard someone crying. <laughs> Look, it's a little dinosaur. <laughs> Hi, what's wrong? It's Mother's Day, and I don't have anything to give my mom as a present. And she's gonna be here soon for our picnic. <laughs> Does your mother like flowers? She loves them. This meadow is her favorite place in the whole world. She says it's like sitting in the middle of a big bouquet. Then why don't we pick your mom her own bouquet of flowers? She'd love that. Great. Let's pick some yellow flowers. <laughs> Okay, isn't that pretty? Yeah, but wouldn't it be nicer with more flowers? You're right, let's add blue flowers. Your mother will love it. Let's do it. Great, but it'll look even with a lot of red flowers, too! <gasps> yeah! <gasps> oh, no! Look at our flower meadow! It's ruined! My mother is going to be so upset! How can we have a picnic now? Uh, I know! We'll just put some flowers back! See? Good as new! <laughs> oh no! It's my mother! We better run! Oh, my meadow! <laughs> and then along came a mysterious stranger. Why is the little dinosaur crying? Today is Mother's Day and she didn't have a present for her mother. So we thought we could pick flowers from the flower meadow. What a lovely idea! Where is the flower meadow? Right there. There? But there aren't any flowers there at all. Not anymore, because we pick them all. Why did you do that? Well, first we had a small bunch of flowers. But we thought it would look better with more flowers. And did it? It looked great, but now the meadow looks terrible. Wait, I get it. Maybe a bigger bouquet does look better than a little one. But taking all of the flowers sure makes the meadow look a lot worse. Yeah, if you take more than you need, then there's nothing left to enjoy later. Thanks, Dad! Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. But this time, we won't pick more flowers than we need. That way the dinosaur will have a pretty present and a beautiful place to enjoy it with his mom. Now we know, so back we go! Kit and Kate started their dinosaur adventure all over again. But this time when they collected flowers, they made sure not to take too many. One, two, three! Perfect! Here comes my mother! Happy Mother's Day! Why, thank you. Mom, these are my new friends, Kit and Kate. Well, hello. Hello. We have a present for you. Go on, Kate. Show her. We picked you some flowers. But not too many. Oh, they're lovely. And with so many flowers left in the meadow, Kit, Kate, and the dinosaurs felt like they were playing in the middle of a big bouquet.